Atea, the White Queen of Tor, offers Tarzan freedom for his companions if he will remain as her mate. Hoping to influence his decision, she shows him and Wong Tai the treasure cave of Tor. Toldo, an enormous lion chained to the floor, guards the treasure. Avarice, greed for power, and envy of what he considers Tarzan's good fortune causes Wong Tai to lead Atea into the mistaken belief that the ape man is in love with Jeanette. Later, Atea definitely states the condition under which Tarzan's companions may leave. The ape man must remain willingly. The alternative, death by sacrifice or torture for them all. To demonstrate what is in store for them, if Tarzan refuses, Atea conducts the white group to a balcony overlooking a small arena. An unarmed yellow man is thrust into the enclosure. As he stands below them, smiling contemptuously up at Atea, Toldo, the huge guardian lion of her treasure vault, bounds into the pit. As the white men stare, fascinated at the mighty beast, Atea, unnoticed, pushes Jeanette over the low stone rail. <coughs> at the girl's scream, the yellow giant looks upward, sees her falling toward him. He reaches out, catches her in his great arms. Placing her gently on the ground behind him, he turns to face Toldo. With a thunderous roar, the savage brute charges. Riga! Riga! The fierce challenge of the bull apes rings loud and clear above the voice of Toldo as Tarzan springs over the low rail and drops like a plummet straight to the back of the charging brute. The ape man's steel muscled arms wrap themselves like hiss of the snake about the tawny neck. His legs clamp the great body in a vice like grip. Toldo's mighty taloned paws beat and slash the air as he bounds around the arena. Headlong, he throws himself against the wall, crashes to the ground, and rolls in a vain attempt to rid himself of the clinging ape man. On the balcony, Atea and the white men watch spellbound. In the pit, the yellow giant, with Jeanette in his arms, does his best to avoid the blind rushes of the furious Toldo. Presently, Tarzan's left hand whips to the knife at his side. The long, keen blade flashes in the sunlight. Again and again, the deadly steel plunges deep into Toldo's unprotected left side. With a last gasping roar, the great beast lurches forward, stumbles, falls to the ground. Tarzan leaps upright, places a foot on the huge, tawny neck. I'm a Never mind, Jeanette. It's all over. Your fall didn't hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Thanks to this, this... I am Hookah, son of Shan Ratar, of the city of Ratar. My life is yours, O oh mighty killer of beasts. Who are you? I am Tarzan of the Apes, king of the tribe of Kerchak. For such service, Tarzan of the Apes, there can be no reward but equal service in return. Hookah shall not forget. Tarzan, Tarzan, the lion, he, he did not reach you? No, Darno, not a scratch. Faith, and when he fell with the brute, we, we thought he had his Tarzan. Aruk Mungo, look to Lanaka Wongo. Bring those three to the council chamber. Tarzan, look at that woman's face. She's furious. And here comes Mungo with his guard. Oh, what awful thing is she planning now? Into the arena stalks the giant Mungo, followed by a crowd of yellow guardsmen. They surround Tarzan, Jeanette, and Uka, the Rhetorian. As the three are hurriedly conducted out of the pit, through a long passageway, up a short flight of broad stone steps and into the great audience chamber, the yellow men regard Tarzan with ill-concealed admiration and not a little awe. Never before have they witnessed the killing of a lion by a man, much less a man of Tarzan's, to them, small stature. Always heretofore, the sport had ended with Toldo's first charge. As the group halts before the throne upon which Atea has again seated herself, Tarzan, Jeanette, and the Rhetorian are thrust forward to stand with Darno, O'Rourke, Ashley, and Wong under the blazing eyes of the Queen. By Jove, Tarzan, that was a fight. We thought for a moment... Silence! Tarzan of the apes, you have killed the mighty Toldo, guardian of the treasure caves of Tor. In the judgment of Pantu and Atea, the punishment is death. Yet I would tempt the wrath of Pantu and save you from his embrace. What say you? Will you remain willingly as Atea's mate, or shall you die with your friends? Decide quickly, for my patience is like to be short. Well, Darno, 
I can see no other way out. Mais, mon vieux. Do you want to stay here, Tarzan, with her? That isn't the point. If I don't, you and your friends will be sacrificed or tortured. Oh, if only we had a chance to fight, it would not be so bad for us men. You men. It's always you men who must be making sacrifices for women. Uncle Jim and I are willing to take our medicine rather than have you give in to this, this woman's demand. But, Jeanette, I am... Wait, let me finish. Uncle Jim and I will not accept your sacrifice. She's right, Tarzan, old chap. We can't accept it, you know. It wouldn't be playing the game. Faith, and you might include Terence O'Rourke in the party. If Tarzan stays, I'll stay. And you, Dr. Wong Tai? I... I have nothing to say, daughter of Thor. Dr. Wong? What's that? <laughs> you are a wise and clever man, Wong Tai. So, Jeanette Burton, you would rather die than leave Tarzan with me. Good. It shall be so. You shall not leave without him. You will all go together, even to Uka, the Raptorian spy. Mungo! Arongo Lanok! Take them away. Guard them well. Stay. Wang Tai, you will remain here. I have need of your wise counsel. Take the others away, Mungo. Aruk! Monsieur le docteur Wong Tai, eh? he escapes the wrath of the queen. Mais pourquoi, monsieur Rock? Faith, and I wish I knew that. The head and Chinese seems to be in the good graces of her ladyship. But to the devil with him. He wouldn't stick with us. Well, I can't imagine what's got into Dr. Wong. He's been so fine throughout all of our misfortunes. He never complained. He always took things as they came. Now, at the crucial moment... Don't you give it a thought, Akushla. After all, he's a Chinese, an uncivilized heathen. Wong, a cultured Oxford-bred gentleman. It's, it's impossible, Terry. I thought he'd be the last to work. To renege, Uncle Jim. Yes, yes, it is. It's pretty much of a shock. He's not of our kind, Jeanette. Forget it. Faith, and do you see where Mungo and his men are leading us? Out over the stone bridge to the wall. I believe we're going to the little house we were in first. If that's the case, perhaps we can manage to get out somehow. <laughs> Never fear, Uncle Jim. Atea won't give us a chance. She'll probably have more guards round us than she has in her palace. Nevertheless, I'm thinking Tarzan will find a way out. I hope so. Will you look at him? Talking to that big fellow, Hooker or whatever his name is, as, as though he were a long-lost brother. <laughs> Faith, of course, Lord. It was lucky for you that that big fellow was in the lion pit when you fell in. I didn't fall, Terry. I tell you, pushed me over that wall while you were all watching the lion and Uka. Jeanette, no, devil, Jeanette. you see. Oh, are you sure you, of that? You cannot mean, Mademoiselle, that she deliberately pushed you over? Well, that's exactly what I do mean, Lieutenant. She meant for that lion to kill me just as surely as she intended for him to finish Uka. Mm, say so, huh? <laughs> the charming lady's idea is to put us aside one by one until none but Tarzan is left. She no doubt believes he will then accept her so generous offer. Do you think he would, Lieutenant? Leave be, Akushla. You know well he wouldn't take up with a tear. He has no more use for her than, well, than I have. Exactement, ça, mademoiselle. Tarzan will not accept, willingly or otherwise. I know him. Back in the audience chamber, Wong Tai stands watching Atea from between narrowed eyes. Slowly, she rises from the throne, turns to the Chinese. You are surprised, Wong Tai? You expected to die with those fools? No, honorable daughter of Thor. What? You do not think our tale was in earnest? I did not say that, my gracious queen. I said I did not expect to die by your most honorable command. And why not? Your life means nothing to me. Did I hear the illustrious Atea say that she had need for my counsel? Hmm. It may be that I have. We will see. Serve me well, Wong Tai, and you need have no fear for your life. Fail me and you perish in the arms of Pantu. My services, O oh magnificent one, are ever at your disposal. Speak, O oh queen. Wherein do you seek counsel? <laughs> Behind your calm exterior, Wong Tai, you are afraid. Why do you fear, Atea? It is your beauty that makes me fear, O oh queen. Ah. I see that men still know how to beguile us women with false words. You were afraid because my eyes were searching out your thoughts behind that inscrutable face. 
However, being only a woman, I forgive you the lie. I do not lie, only illustrious queen. You are more beautiful than... Than Jeanette Burton? Than the blush on a rose or the luster on a Ming vase. Mm -hmm. You please me, Wong Tai, but uh, enough of flattery uh, for the present. You ask wherein I seek your counsel. You shall learn at another time. It grows late. You will be given quarters in the palace near me. The freedom of Tor shall be yours. See that you do not abuse my confidence. Look to Lanuk out there. Wamumbo Tukwa, Aruk. Go, Wang Tai. The guard will conduct you to your chamber. Accept my humble thanks, O oh daughter of Tor. Meanwhile, Tarzan and his companions crossed the long stone viaduct and gained the broad top of the outer wall. Hemmed in by their yellow guards, Tarzan and the giant Uka walked shoulder to shoulder, conversing in low tones. Behind them follows the closely guarded little group of captives. To them comes the far-off snarling voice of the distant jungle as night settles rapidly over forest and city. The ape-man glances casually back over his shoulder, catches Darno's eye, and nods his head slightly. Orok, Ashley, faites attention. Something is about to happen. Tarzan has just given me a sign to be prepared. Ready we are, Lieutenant, for anything he starts. Be gary. I'd give a good deal for me rifle or automatic. We'll do the best we can without them. Janet, keep your eyes open, old girl. We're taking our cue from Tarzan. About to pass one of the square stone watchtowers on the outer edge of the wall, Tarzan stumbles, crashes headlong into Mungo, walking ahead of him. The giant chief topples over the low coping to the roof of a house inside the enclosure. Uka whirls on the astonished yellow man at his side. With a mighty shove, he thrusts the man into the crowd of encircling guards. Ashley and O'Rourke leap forward. Riga! Riga! With the challenging cry of the great apes ringing out over the yells of surprise and rage of the yellow men, Tarzan charges. 